I know you're still working on it, Jack. Yeah. Thank you. Folks, I want to make sure that you understand a lot of the information we are providing for you right now is unedited. It's coming directly from that scene. Uh, so if you will bear with us on what you're about to hear, there was one witness, we're told, who spoke with uh, our photojournalists and others. And so it is unedited, but we want you to hear it. Take a listen. So what happened, we were inside the store, all of a sudden we, saw, we heard a gunshot and everybody was panicking, but the store we were in, they were very helpful. They took everyone in the back, then the police came, SWAT team came, they brought us outside, then they escorted us out. Then we were walking outside, uh, across from Michael Kaur, we saw the dead body, the guy, he, uh, he, he had all the gears. He looks like a police officer, but when you look at his shoes, he was wearing Converse. So that's make you think that, you know, he was just trying to trick the people. And he was shot right here in uh, his forehead. So, yeah, this is uh, very, you know, devastating. That maybe police SWAT. But one thing I want to say, you know, I want to thank Allen police. I want to thank all of our police. You know, they're putting their life up there and trying to help people, you know. But it's, it's a very sad and very frustrating situation that we are seeing. Jamil, thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you. Again, you are hearing from individuals who are on that scene when all of this unfolded. And it is graphic to hear, uh, but nonetheless, you dear, did hear this man talk about the fact that they saw the gunman, the suspect in all of this, uh, on the ground, shot and killed. Uh, the question right now seems to be, how many people did this person harm at that mall?